Now, for a long time, doctors have talked about the benefits of breast milk for babies. But what about adults? Well, there's a growing trend for buying breast milk online after claims of a variety of health benefits. But experts are warning that it could contain dangerous levels of bacteria. Dr. Sarah Steele is from Queen Mary University of London. Good evening to you, uh, Sarah. Who's buying this stuff and who's selling it? Well, the sellers are obviously mums of infants who are producing milk, usually in excess quantities. So they're producing more than their infant drinks. Um, for others, it's become a business proposition where this is what they're doing while they're on maternity leave. It's actually how they're making their primary source of income, perhaps. Um, the buyers in the adult market, certainly, of course, there's a discrete market in selling to infants, to caregivers who want to feed their children. But with regard to adults, it's fitness fanatics, bodybuilders. There's a large community of people who are being told that this has immune benefits. So medically ill patients and cancer patients who think that this might be actually helpful for them. And then there's a small market in adult fetishists who just like to drink the oh, stuff. Dear. Look, I, mean, I know you focus on adult consumption. We're not going to mm -hmm. talk about the, the whys and wherefores of, of mothers of babies getting involved in this. Is the trade, though, for adults worthwhile at all? Is it worth consuming this stuff? Well, the point that we're making is actually that nutritionally, this isn't a replacement for a healthy, balanced meal. Because it's called a wonder food by some people. It's absolutely a superfood for an infant, but the adult gut breaks this down in a different way. And certainly, the nutritional benefits for adults are far outweighed by the risks. There's bacterial risks, viral risks, toxicity risks, and they just don't make it worth buying this stuff online and drinking it raw in its unpasteurized state. It's just too risky. And the nutritional benefits aren't really what they're saying online. Yeah. they are. There's less protein in this than other milks, like, for example, cow's milk. And that makes it not an optimal adult food, especially when it's being used either as a primary form of nutrition or to completely replace a balanced meal. I mean, some people will see this as common sense, but for those who perhaps still think they might have a go at this, tell us about the examples you found of, you know, the containers it's arrived in and what it contains. Well, actually, we were working with a media outlet a little while ago and they received one of their samples of milk actually in a recycled gravy tin. And we found things certainly in the United United States studies and, and also here in the UK where there's just concerning shipping practices. This stuff's often frozen and shipped either through Royal Mail or yeah. through a courier in substandard packaging and it can arrive unthawed and that of course lets the bacteria grow. Doesn't sound uh, very appetising at all. Sarah, no. thank you very much indeed for coming in. Thank you.